Hello everybody. So today I'm going to read a poem by Khalil Gibran and it's uh, called Fear. So it is said that a sea it is said that before entering the sea a river trembles with fear. She looks back at the path she has traveled from peaks of the mountains, the long winding road crossing forests and villages. And in front of her, she sees an ocean so vast that to enter there seems nothing more than to disappear forever. But there is no other way. The river cannot go back. Nobody can go back. To go back is impossible in existence. The river needs to take the risk of entering the ocean, because only then will fear disappear. Because that's where the river will know. It's not about disappearing into the ocean, but becoming the ocean. Thank you. And I'd like to welcome our um, mentor coach and our dean of faculty and our social science mentor, Nils. So thank you. Good evening, and uh, thank you, Riley. That was a, a beautiful poem. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, and thanks to each of you for coming together to co-create this very special event uh, here this evening, marking the graduation of Quest Forward Academy Santa Rosa's largest ever graduating class. Please give all of yourselves a round of applause. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful gathering. Graduates, you all look amazing. You look ready. You look, you look like a river preparing to become the sea. Families, you all look amazing too. Your hard work is all paying off. All the work that you put in to raise up these exceptional people. You all look so proud and maybe a little bit wistful too. Like you're happy to mark this rite of passage and, and maybe also a little bit sad to see your babies all grown up. Yes, Many feelings are in the house tonight, and I'd like to invite us to welcome them all. I feel honored to be here with you this evening, this impressive group of students bravely making your way into the world that you are about to transform, as well as these strong families, these caring loved ones, and these dedicated mentors, and all the staff that has put so much energy into helping nurture and support these bright young individuals to become the amazing human beings that each one of them is uniquely blossoming into. I feel humbled to stand here with you and share a few words from the heart. And as amazing as last year's virtual graduation was, I feel especially grateful that we're able to be here in person together today. I feel warm in the sun. Um, and I'm also really happy to just be celebrating this moment in such a beautiful place on planet Earth, the aptly named Paradise Ridge, overlooking this Sonoma County, this bioregion that has been our home and played such an important role in raising these young people as well. This land of vines and grasses, fresh air and water of life, this land of trees and rivers and natural beauty, at times this land of fire and through it all, this land of resilience, of goodness, and as the iconic sculpture behind me reminds us, of love. Perhaps more than any other emotion right now, I feel proud, proud beyond words, really, to see you all here. Quest Forward Academy's graduating class of 2021, standing on this peak, overlooking the horizon from this view that you have earned, on the verge of taking this leap into the beautiful unknown that is your future. A few notes on this leap you're about to take. First, if it appears that there is a chasm before you with a bottomless abyss below, know that jumping is the only way across. There is no turning back with honor. But as you leap forward and inevitably fall along the way, you will find your wings and you will find the ability to come back as your transformed self with more grace and more power than ever before. Though the height may be terrifying and your wings may be yet untested, Please, trust the process. Trust in yourself. This abyss is where we learn to fly, and it is only by plunging headlong into it that you will awaken your instincts to flap and fly, and ultimately rise and soar. Additionally, graduates, venturing into this unknown future before you, this abyss whose bottom you cannot yet see is an essential part of the hero's journey that each one of you is embarking on. You have been guided by the sage wisdom of mentors and way showers who have gone before you, and we remain ever in your corner, 
You have found your own inner voice, strengthened by your many talents and superpowers, and you've been given your cosmic instructions on where to go from here. You have been armed with swords of love, shields of truth, and the light of passion for learning. All that is left now is for you to venture into the depths, undergo this journey, and return with the gold of wisdom to share with your people. There is no telling where this abyss bottoms out, but trust, it is at the bottom where your treasure lies. Now graduates, as you embark on this hero's journey of yours, this quest, so to speak, that is your life, I'd like to make a bold invitation. Treat the world like you've treated Quest Forward Academy. Treat the planet like your classrooms here. Treat the people you meet like your community here. Treat the ongoing learning journey like your courses here. There is an ancient parable that comes to mind, a story of a beautiful village in the mountains that travelers and pilgrims would often stumble upon. So dreamy and idyllic was this village that quite often visitors would find themselves wanting to settle down and move in. And when they did, they would first need to meet with the village wise woman. This elder would ask all would-be settlers the same question. Tell me about where you come from, she would say. If the traveler said something like, I come from a horrible, boring, dark place where people are mean and uninspired, liars and cheats, the elder would simply respond, this village and the people here are just the same and ask them to move on. If, however, the traveler said something like, I come from a beautiful, sweet, and interesting place where the people are kind and helpful, loving and caring, the elder would respond, this village and the people here are just the same, and welcome them to join the community. As author Anais Nin reminds us, we see things not as they are, but as we are. And that is a powerful thing to remember as you step into the wide world to take the space that is singularly yours. El mundo es un espejo. The world is a mirror. It has been such a joy to watch you all mature these years, seeing you walk into school each morning and say good morning to Thalia and Jordan, or leave class with a thank you, Nicholas, or thank you, Donna. It has been wonderful seeing you drop everything in certain moments for someone in need, to be there for a friend having a hard day, or needing a smile or a hug or a reminder of what really matters. As you step into new communities, no matter how large or distant they may be, please keep doing that. Keep giving greetings and thanks. Keep caring for people over profit. Keep paying at least as much attention, if not more, to the why and the how as you do to the what. The big things matter a lot for certain, but the little ones, the little ones matter too. How you do anything is how you do everything. So take the time to do the little things right. When our campus was visited by Opportunity Education's visionary founder, Joe Ricketts, this year, who wanted to hear from our students about what makes this school so unique and successful, many of these graduates here took the opportunity to express appreciation for their mentors and their peers and for a community that respects and accepts each of them for who they really are. So as you continue to build community out there, Please treat it as you have treated QFA. Care for each other, love each other, and respect and accept others as they come. Here at QFA, you have also been encouraged from the get-go to follow your curiosity, and as I love to say, hack your education. Now, as you head to college or to enter the workforce, you will be creative problem solvers, wayfinders and creators of value, not just passive consumers. Many of you here have heard me remark before on the etymological root of the word educate. It's the Latin educare, to educe or draw out from within. Far from the notion of filling an empty vessel with knowledge, it is instead evoking the natural indwelling genius of each unique individual, nurturing each precious being with the specific conditions and nutrients needed for the realization of its fullest potential your education is far from complete. Indeed, hopefully, it will always be an ongoing, lifelong project. But a big part of this rite of passage here today is acknowledging your adulthood. Your whole time here, we have been training you, like Jedis, to take responsibility for your own education. And now, as you graduate, you fully assume that responsibility. You will continue to find mentors and 
quests and resources to inform your ongoing growth and all the artifacts you choose to create. But from here on out, no one is telling you what to do. And if they try to, you are now each endowed as adults with ultimate veto power and sovereignty over yourself. If you are the plant, the beautiful flower blossoming into your unique fullness, you are now also the gardener. Tend yourself well. Finally, as you venture forth, please remember this. It will be, and at times must be, difficult. Indeed, if the trail is smooth and clear and easy, you are probably on someone else's path. So as you face adversity and uncertainty, keep showing the courage that beats in your heart, remembering that the word courage shares the same etymological root as heart, your credo, your cardiac, your corazón. So go fly. You are here on the peak standing at the ledge, and the sky awaits. There is no turning back. Find your wings by jumping. Thank you. <laughs>